Hey, what's going on, people? My name is Terrell Andretti, and I'm the Narc's nemesis. For those of y'all watching me on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That helps YouTube's algorithm pick up this content and push it out to more people that need it. Somebody liked it for you, so make sure you like it for somebody. If you need a one-on-one -on -one phone session, the link is down below in the description. If you need a talk, if you need a vent, if you need advice custom-made and tailor-fitted to your situation, make sure you book a session with me down below. If you want to donate to the channel, the link is down below in the description. Also, my latest single, Love Machine, it is out on all streaming platforms and is available on all, all streaming platforms and it's available here on the channel. Um, excuse my shirt, I've been a little sweaty today, so y'all mind y'all business. But today I want to talk to y'all about <clears throat> the narcissist has to create the image of them being wanted to make you work harder for them. They will purposely allow you to see another woman or another man texting their phone. They will purposely make you see or let you see somebody calling them or their phone on silent or, um, you know, they'll, they might act inappropriately at a party with somebody of the opposite sex. They might, um, you know, go out with somebody they're not supposed to. They might post pictures online that they're not supposed to. They might be all hugged up with somebody at an event that y'all are both at so you can see it and so you can... It, it, it strikes what they call competition anxiety. And a lot of people are like, oh, you're going for that, but everybody's been through it. Um, we can bullshit all we want to. It's been triggered in everybody. If you're a human, it's been triggered. The only thing about a narcissist is they know how to get it. They know how to trigger it on a whole nother level because they're able to play with your emotions. They're able to manipulate your emotions. So they do it times 10. <clears throat> so the reason why they do this is because narcissists only have a certain amount that they can give you. And if you ever notice, anytime y'all ever get into it, it's when y'all get to a certain point of when there's supposed to be elevation, when y'all are supposed to go to the next level, when you're demanding more of them. That's when y'all majorly get into it or when you're trying to go to the next level. <clears throat> because what that, what that does is it takes your attention off of you're only getting a certain amount from them up until this point after that it stops and it starts over it's because they only have a certain capacity that they are able to give you that's why a lot of y'all are so stuck on their potential because all they fucking have is potential all they have to give you is potential the what ifs the what if wins the what if hows the what if evers that's all they have to give to you. That's why they stop. That's why y'all's relationship stops at the same fucking point. It's just a different time. It's just a different hour. It's just a different minute, a different day, a different month, a different year. And for some of y'all, a different decade. It's the same shit. It's the same point that y'all get to because narcissists have a peak that you get to with them. You can't go no higher. You can't elevate with them. You can't elevate. They won't let you because they know <clears throat> after a certain point, you're going to require more of them. Once you get to a new level, that new you is going to demand more from them. Because if you level up, they got to level up to, you know, to, to stay with you. Because as a couple, you're supposed to grow together. And a lot of times people grow apart. It's normal. There's nothing wrong with that. But for a narcissist, they can't have that. Because if you grow apart from them, they lose your supply. So they got to not celebrate you. They got to convince you that, you know, more people want them. And you're in competition with all these different people. Because it keeps your focus off of leveling up. It keeps your focus off of your goals. It keeps your focus off they not even really all that. And a lot of times y'all think it'd be 
them other people hitting them up and chasing after them and all that shit. I'm going to tell you what happens a lot of the times. <clears throat> a lot of the times the narcissist been blowing up their phone. A lot of the times the narcissist have been sending out emails to them, been sending out um, notes to them, been um, hoovering by proxy them, reaching out to them. So now that they got this individual reaching back out to see what's going on, because they done cracked. Or they done fed them some emergency story. They in the hospital. They did this. They mom, whatever, whatever. Now they're getting that attention back coming to their phone. So now when they around you, they phone ringing. It looks like somebody's blowing them up. But what you don't know is they done told this motherfucker that they mama in the hospital. They done told this person that they in the hospital. They done told them that somebody amputated both their ass cheeks. So now they trying to call and see what's going on. But you around them. And it looks like somebody of the opposite sex is blowing them up trying to see what's up. Or even if they not blowing them up on the phone, they've been reaching out to this person. And they done hyped this person into welcoming back in that sexual energy or... Um, welcoming in welcoming energy accepting energy so now that person is pursuing them because they done fed them this story oh well you doing them wrong you cheating on them so now here they come captain save a hoe or captain save a buster to the rescue you the bad guy and they trying to save the narcissist from you They do this to distract you from the fact that they don't have any more to give you. And some of y'all have been giving these folks years. Some of y'all have been giving these folks months, weeks. And I, like I said, a lot of y'all decades. Because you haven't realized they don't have anything else to offer you. You doing all the fucking offering. Because you trying to compensate for what they not doing. Now don't get me wrong. Relationships aren't 50 50 all the time. Sometimes they 80 20. Sometimes they 70 30. Sometimes they 60 40. Whatever your spouse ain't doing at that day, sometimes you might wake up. Your wife might only have 20%. She ain't feeling good. Whatever the case is, you got the other 80. Vice versa. That's how relationships work. All that equal shit, no. Who's strong today? Oh, you specialize in this? This where you take the lead. Oh, you good at financing? Shit, finance that. Budget that. That's how relationships work. <clears throat> now, narcissists, they don't have they only have a certain percentage to give you. And it's that constantly. Because eventually, let's say your wife's sick or whatever, she only got 20%. When she heals, when she gets better. She's back at 50. Narcissists, they got 10% to get. They're going to stay at 10. They can be through the fucking roof. Feeling great, doing backflips. You still getting 10%. And it doesn't, it doesn't fluctuate. If it fluctuate, it goes down. It don't go higher. It goes down. Now, the only time it'll go a little higher is they know they losing you or whatever. They'll come up to buy 12.5 15 something like that to try to but even then they can't maintain that for long because narcissists narcissists lack consistency narcissists lack the ability to be a constant so they will do these things because they're aware they only have so much to give you and nine times out of ten you've been calling them on a bullshit Nine times out of ten, you've been telling them about themselves. Nine times out of ten, you've been expressing how you feel. Nine times out of ten, you've been not allowing them to get away with shit. Nine times out of ten, you've been holding them accountable for shit that they don't want to look at. Nine times out of ten, you've been calling them on them exes. Nine times out of ten, you've been calling them on their cheating. You've been calling them on their lying. And they know they can't give you anything past that point because anything past that point sacrifices their narcissism. You or anybody else walking this earth 
is not more important than their narcissism because their narcissism is their alpha and their omega. It's their end all and be all. And that's their defense mechanism. They will sacrifice any supply for their narcissism. You or nobody else, it could be Drake, Rihanna, Beyonce, whoever. Nobody is more important to them than them being able to fully be a narcissist and act how they want to act. They don't have anything else to give you. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you need a one-on-one -on -one phone session, make sure y'all book. The link is down below in the description. If you need to talk, if you need a vent, if you need advice custom-made and tailor-fitted to your situation, make sure y'all book a session down below. Um, if you don't see the desired date or time, make sure you send me an email. That way we can get you scheduled. I need y'all to like this video. Y'all been slacking on the likes. If you are looking at me in the face right now, I need you to hit the like button. I need this information pumped out because y'all done slacked up on me. So I, I need y'all to pick it back up. That's the least y'all can do. I'm giving y'all this free game. I've been doing it for a while. The least you can do is hit the like button, share, send it to somebody if you think they need it. I need y'all to get this shit cracking. Um, <clears throat> If you want to donate to the channel, the link is down below in the description. Love Machine, my latest single, is out now on all streaming platforms. And it's also available on the channel. So y'all make sure y'all leave me some critique and all that good stuff. But until next time, another day, another way. And you ain't got to listen, but I know you heard me.